The RBBK Mark III on reserve is considered the best for loot and is also the most expensive. I decided to buy this key, which cost me 2 million rubles, and loot it with the goal of making money and finding a cofter, which can spawn in this room, and since I just can't stand farming it on Lighthouse. This journey spans across a few raids, and of course, there is action and hiccups along the way. If you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button, it's free, and it helps me out more than you know. Thanks, and let's get into it. Try and hopefully do is, I guess, find the cofter, and that'll be really, really helpful for me. So let's see exactly what we got here. SA58, M62, which is pretty nice. Uh, what else is there? Pro kill. Put that away. A G28. I will take that. Although, it's not really what we are after. I'm pretty sure I've seen a Cofton spawning sort of up here or something. So that is what I'm actually sort of hunting for. MCB, alright. I need to make sure I check every corner of this room because I don't actually know all the spawns in here. So bear with me. I got incredibly lucky on my first raid spawning right next to the marked room so we ran in here and looted it up very quickly. Didn't really find what I was looking for, but we got a few nice guns and things like that. I then proceeded to loot the barracks on my way up to the dome, and basically the first raid was really chill. We looted up as much as we could, ran up to the dome, and then I extracted so I could hit the room again. Full bag of loot? That's a pretty good first raid. In my next raid, I spawned at the train sheds, and this was going to be a big problem. Spawning across the map would take me a while to get to the room, and there could be a chance that it's already looted. But nonetheless, I proceeded to run across the map and get to the marked room as quick as I could, and I was actually the first person there. Let's go open it. Very expensive key, but... Okay, can I get a Coftum? That is my main goal. I don't see one just yet. Rooster. Rooster is good, but it's really not what we're after. Impact nade. Yeah, the boss is definitely up, so if I don't get anything good here, I might try and take him, honestly. And it looks like we didn't get anything good this time. This honestly has to be one of the worst marked rooms I have ever seen. I'm just checking that I didn't miss anything. But after looting this and not finding too much, I heard something that piqued my interest. It sounded like the boss of reserve, glue car, was up, so I decided to try and take him on. Okay. That was a guard, I'm pretty sure. It's quickly met up. Yeah, really disappointing mark room. That's all we got from it. So, I don't know. Not really that impressed. Maybe we can kill Glucar though. That could be fun. I'm gonna try and run across here. Hopefully not get beamed. Oh god. Okay, well we've seen where they all are. Jesus Christ, they're all just... Literally sitting there. I wonder if I can even slow peek these guys, or if that's just going to result in me dying. Might not be the best plan. They're not pushing me, which is a little bit annoying. I thought these are meant to be like the most ag aggressive bosses in the game. Why are they just sitting there? Maybe what I can do is run up here. Maybe get even further up and try and grenade down or something. Yeah, that might be a good idea. And if I grenade through here, I can try and kill some of them. Okay. That's a lot of them. No way, man. 
What the hell was that? He instantly just tapped me. Yeah, AI is very balanced in this game. So Tarkov AI is extremely strong. And they got the better of me that time. In the next raid, we had a pretty decent spawn. So again, I rushed to the marked room and looted it up. See if our Koftum has spawned. Doesn't look like it. Lion. M1A. MGT. Another SA58. Not really what we're after again, is it? Not getting anything too crazy again. I pretty much just chose to extract and run up to the dome and just reset because the raid seemed very, very dead. And that's where we get into the action because the next two raids, we had a lot that happened and you'll see what happens. This is not the best spawn for me. Hopefully the new reserve spawns carry me a little bit. I'm gonna try and go straight into the building with the marked room. We'll just run in through here. And we'll go out the other side and then try and get into the Black Pond building. Alright, let's see if this works. Well, that was interesting. That was definitely interesting. I think his body actually fell off. I did not know he could jump out the window there. God damn, we got lucky that we saw him. And lucky that he missed, honestly. Well, that was wild. What? What the hell was this guy doing? Was it a duo then? Man, what a weird raid. This MP9 kind of shreds though, I gotta say. I'm gonna pack up these mags, try loot them both, hit the marked room, and then just literally try extract. That's a much better raid than we've had in the past. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell was that second guy doing? And honestly, I don't know. He could hear me medding the whole time. He did not make a noise. And when we ran out, he was just sitting there prone, waiting for us to kill him. I guess we got a little bit lucky. I proceeded to loot the two bodies and then go to the marked room because that's my main intention after all. I expect nobody else is in this building, but you never know. Uh, let's see what we have here. I really, really want to find a Koftum, but... I don't know if I'm gonna get that lucky, honestly. Okay. Dog tag case is amazing. That's not bad. Ammo case. Okay, hello. I wonder if I can actually fit that in here. I can't, all right. So ammo case and a dog tag case. And I'll just quickly do a scan here to make sure I'm not missing anything else. It's actually very hard to see all the loot in here sometimes, is that? No. I think we might actually have everything. I'm gonna just stomp all the way through. Because if somebody's hair is ratting, I'm not gonna see him anyway. So I like to just go quick. Check up top. Looks like we might be alright. So this was a much better raid than what we've had. At least we got that ammo case. Finally, our first good find in the marked room. The ammo case was around 400k and the dog tag case was 200k. In the next raid, we actually got blessed again with a very good spawn. So like clockwork, I ran straight to the marked room and looted it up. And hit the room as quick as we can. Give me that coffin. Come on. Nothing here again. I don't actually know where it spawns. I think it's on the table or something. Roller. Gold chain. TX-15. That's a relatively nice find. Is that all, though? Is that really all they're going to give me in this one? No way, right? 
That is a very average mark throw. I guess we had a really good one just before, but I do expect more when this key cost me 2 mil. We got better loot just from this duffel bag than that whole room. Anyways, um, I just remembered that I have the keys for the dome, which... Oh, vitamins we need, which is good. So, I have the keys for the rooms up in the dome, which are useful because I think you can get Coftum spawns there as well. As I mentioned in the raid just before, I realized that I had two keys for the dome building on the second floor, which both have Coftum spawns. So from this raid onwards, I'm going to start heading those on my way out, just to increase my chances of finding that item. In this particular raid, we didn't really find much there, and after we finished looting the entire dome building and we were ready to extract, this happened. I don't know where it actually spawns. I'm assuming all over these server racks you can find stuff. Hold on a second, we've got a PMC here with us now. That didn't really go to plan. He ran before I could nade him. Oh, he's above me. Okay. Now, given how much loot I had, this engagement took forever. I tried to rat him and just camp because I didn't want to lose all the loot that I had, and it took a while, but eventually we had some confrontation with him. didn't go too well, did it? screwed that up, didn't I? I almost, almost screwed that up. That was a really, really close call. Sort of ratted a bit there, but I didn't really want to get into a proper fight when I already had so much loot. Now I gotta somehow loot these guys safely. Although everyone has heard these grenades go off, so they're probably coming straight towards us. That's my bag there. You can shut that. Now let's loot this guy. He had a vector. That's honestly very, very nice. A lot of bullets for us too. So, I am not gonna bother sort of min-maxing and trying to find his bag and things like that. I think I'll be alright with how much loot I'm getting. I will obviously loot, what's it called? His friend outside. But other than that, I think we are relatively satisfied in terms of the loot that we're gonna get here. I'll try and check if I can loot his friend. That would be very helpful. Let's have a looky here. Wow. This guy had a lot of stuff. So as you can see, these boys were loaded. We got a lot of loot from them. They actually ended up killing some other players. I took the best guns. I dumped my gun so I could take a better gun and I stripped the rest of the items that I thought were the best. I didn't really min-max too well, but I think we got a lot of loot. And that's two raids in a row. So, what did I always tell you guys? When Tarkov gives you success, you already know what's gonna come next. We are getting blessed with these spawns. We've upgraded. We're using the MCX from 
guy we killed last raid. And I'm gonna rush straight into here and hopefully just very simply go and loot this room as quick as I can. That's not good. What the hell, man? Did I not just shoot three bullets into his head? My god. That's crazy. Well, I guess that one didn't work out for us. We hit two bullets, and apparently it wasn't a headshot. That is crazy. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know how this wasn't a headshot. I slowed it down so you can see it, and to me, I thought that was a guaranteed kill. But, you know, it's Tarkov. We'll get into another raid, and this one, we just do a little bit of looting. This is not the worst spawn, considering where we need to go. Still can't believe that I didn't kill that guy, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, it happens, so we will just move on. Went back to the MP9. Oh, okay. I've been blessed with a GPU, which is amazing. Well, this raid is pretty much already paid for. But let's see if we can actually hit the mark room as well. That would be super duper clutch. Okay. That is not how I wanted to start this raid. I don't hear anyone, which I guess is relatively good news. I'm just gonna go straight in here. Better be first, right? MGT, okay. Can I find the Kofdim? Doesn't look like, I, look like I can, but we do have another ammo case. So, we're finding some pretty good stuff, but not exactly what I am after. Although, at least we're making our money's worth on this key. Just need to make sure, yep, there we go, Gingy. Is there anything else I'm missing here? I don't actually think so, right? No. I'm gonna go straight back to the dome. So I can check those other rooms in the dome. Oh god. filter and meds, okay, through these raids as quick as I can, especially if we have an ammo case on us, then, oh my god, no way man, no bloody way, all I need to make sure now is that I don't leave the raid too early, and we've actually found it, that's literally the entire thing that I was hunting for. This thing right here for Lenly's part 2. We've actually found incredibly good loot in this particular raid. It's kind of crazy. I am so happy though that we got that one done. So in the end, it was actually the dome keys that gave me my coffin, not the marked room key. But nonetheless, I had a lot of fun doing this video. And here's the loot reveal, we made a lot of money. This key cost me 2 mil, and you can see just how much loot went into my stash after selling majority of the things that I found. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, please hit that like and subscribe button, and make sure you buy this key if you have enough money, you should profit on it relatively often. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.